good morning. How's everybody doing today? Uh, my microphone's always moving around on me. So hopefully everybody's doing real good. So I got a disaster film for you that I kind of like. It's one of the older ones, and it was a good date movie. It's not a horror film, but it is a good date movie. There's some romance involved in there. My phone's going nuts. The girls are trying to text me again. We'll talk about that on the other channel. Um, anyway, so... This is a... Um, it's called Dante's Peak. And they're talking about... Basically, this came out right after uh, Mount St. Helens blew up. So they're talking about what happens when a mountain blows up and uh, in a dramatized way through movies. They, they got a couple of real good actors in this. Yeah, it was a pretty good movie, and I'm trying to download the damn video, so I'm not focusing 100% on you guys. But that's okay. It's a good movie. Um, the, they basically send the USGS volcanologist uh, Harry Dalton there to the to the town, little little country village underneath the town, underneath the mountain, that they're just trying to town of Dante's Peak, and they're trying to uh, determine if their little mountain's going to blow up. So throughout the video, the boss of the USGS is arguing with him, trying to get out of there. They spent like two months, quarter of the movies there, uh, testing and setting up sensors and all kinds of fun stuff. And then the last night they were there, the the water changes. They um, they had to get him there. They find he finds out that Harry Dalton's right, and then it turns into be a good movie after that. Them trying to go get Grandma because Harry Dalton's uh, involved with one of the the mayor of the town, the woman mayor of the town, and they're they're doing all kinds of fun stuff, drinking bad coffee and and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. It turned out to be a pretty good movie. I kind of liked it, and you know I've been called all kinds of crazy stuff this week, uh, but we'll get into that later. Anyway, so what's going on is is uh, well apparently Dante's Peak is near Washington uh, State not DC Washington State uh, Mount St. Helens was pretty close to there anyway so it was in Oregon I think it was there but anyway they uh, they they the kids run off because mom wouldn't come down off the mountain because she lives way up high on top of the mountain by a lake yeah, mom went up, the kids went up there, so Harry Dalton, after the evacuation got started, had to go up there through the ash and the hail and everything else to get the kids down from Dante's Peak. Yeah, of course, uh, mom or stepmom, depending on which way you want, her mom, the kid's mother's mom. And she did a lot of crazy stuff, and you know, they, they run over trees and they got up there to mom's house and then all of a sudden the lava flow comes through the back of the house and wipes out all the vehicles so the only way they can get away from it is across the across the lake in a aluminum boat so they put all four of them five of them in the boat three adults two kids in the boat and they go to make it across they get almost there and the propeller the engine just starts spinning real wildly and then dies they pull it up and the propeller has gone because the lake has turned to acid so they uh, wrap their hands in um, cloths and start hand paddling the boat over the dock. And then when we get there, Grandma, Mom's mom, is, jumps out of the boat and pulls everybody over before it sinks. And everybody gets on the dock and Mom walks out of the thing. And um, they try to pack her down the way and she doesn't make it too much. She passes away about halfway down the mountain. You know, and... and um, they, that was a big thrilling moment right there, you know, pack, trying to pack her out. And then they go to the U.S. Forest Service and steal another pickup because his got destroyed in the lava flow. And it's the same type of pickup, only it's got a same type of, same type of vehicle. It's a Chevy pickup instead of a Chevy um, four-door blazer looking thing. Anyway, so they... Uh, they drive the pickup out and they run into a lava flow coming out crossing their road their path so they try to drive over it and destroy the tires in the process rescue a dog turns out to be a pretty good movie then pretty good scene then it turns out that we go all the way down to the other end and it's 
all kinds of fun. And it's really one of those things. It just it's great, uh, great fun for everybody involved. It's a pretty good movie. Universal Pictures knocked it out of the park with this one. Damn. I got gas, burps wanting to come up. Too much coffee, I guess. Anyway, so uh, while well, they're trying to get down, the uh, helicopter pilot that's been running around the mountain, helping them set the sensors up and flying them around, is trying to trying to make money getting out of the um, the the getting people out of the Dante's Peak town. There, um, he's charging fifteen hundred dollars a head to fly him out, and he's only going to take one load. So he gets he gets fifteen hundred dollars a head. The thing get the helicopter gets full of people. He flies out and he sucks up ash in the heli in the helicopter uh, filter and it dies and runs out and crashes. Where our hero and his girlfriend, um, Harry Dalton and his girlfriend are headed out of town to go up the mountain to get the kids. So that turned out pretty good. Uh, movie, I kind of liked it. Forest Ranger Service, that's where he stole the truck was the Forest Ranger Ser Service. And then when they got, when they crossed the lava flow like I said they did rescue their dog then when they finally get to town the bridge is all washed out because they show earlier in the scene earlier in the movie where the bridge is all washed out because they were trying to do the last evacuation the the Humvee, Humvee two Humvees in a van for the USGS the National Guard were in the Humvees and the USGS was in the van and um, they he got stuck two wheel drive van got stuck on the bridge as the big flood was coming all of a sudden next thing you know he gets washed away with the van and everybody else so they get down there where the bridge is bridge is gone and you know and it's not a good thing for what's going on but they do it anyway keep hearing crickets all these movies lately I keep hearing crickets but they do, they do do that, and <clears throat> it turns out to be a pretty good and interesting way. So they, he stops at the motel because they left behind the uh, the NASA GPS tracker, 100-pound um, box that looked like a big yellow thing, it looked like about two foot by two foot. It used to supposed to sit on top on the front of their robot, but they left it off. So he throws that in the, in the passenger seat floorboard under the girlfriend's feet. And then they, they go find themselves a place to hide. So they go headlong running into an old mine in town. That was in town and, and drive in there as far as it'll go. And with him hitting the mine with the truck, because the paraclastic cloud was chasing him, he had no choice. Instead of you know leaving the truck outside and dragging everything in, he just runs through the doors and drove the truck as far as he could in there. And he knocked down a lot of the supports for the mine, and next thing you know, they, he gets all the women and children over to a safe place further off into the mine with lights and supplies, and he has to go back to get the uh, yellow box, the uh, GPS tracker that NASA wanted to uh, them to test out. So he ends up going back and gets buried by rocks, gets up and goes back, finally gets into the truck cab because it's being squished by rocks. So he's in there, Derry Dalton's in the truck getting squished after he gets the uh, the um, the GPS working after he kicks it a couple times. And then they end the movie with him being rescued and her being, the kids and all them being rescued. And um, Somebody says, thank you, NASA, thank you, NASA during the whole thing so it turns out to be a pretty good movie it's one of those that i like so you know how that goes oh, anyway. with your head anyway so um we'll go ahead and call this the end of the movie well not quite the end of the movie it was put out by universal pictures i keep wanting to forget that today that part it was it was they had they got all credits for all the production companies under it but it was universal pictures then it was uh, released on February 7th, 1997. There goes my phone again. Girls are really anxious to talk to me today. That's a good thing, I guess. Um, 109 minutes. It was a United States movie. Uh, it was English and 
Um, they spent 170 million making this thing, and it made 178.1 million. I liked it. I don't understand why it didn't do so well in the box office, but it did a pretty good job. From as far as my concerned, it did a real good job. Put that over just a little bit. There you go. It's blinding me. That one too. Uh, you'll never see that part, but that's okay. So anyway, hopefully you guys had a uh, enjoyed the video and. Come back to watch all the rest of them and subscribe and like and do all that fun stuff. And we'll talk to you later. Uh, take care and be safe. And we'll see you at the next one.